Hey everyone, today's episode is about streaming. Of course, in these weird Corona times, we've all had to be really, really creative with the way that we reached our audiences. But I think it's also given us an opportunity to expand our audiences somehow. Streaming is the way to do that, and here at Sopolo Studios, they actually know exactly how to go about that. In this studio, so much great music has been recorded and streamed. Not just here, though, because honestly, they have been taking their equipment and their know-how on the road to places all over. You know, the last year, and it's amazing. Honestly, I don't really know how any what any of these buttons do or how, how streaming really works. So let's talk to someone who does. My next guest is Adam Partika, and I'm going to ask him all about it. Let's go. Hey Adam, thank you so much for having me today. So、Hi. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. It's my pleasure. So、um, we're talking about streaming today on this episode, and、um, can you tell me a little bit about that? Do you just walk into a room and press a button, and we're good to go? How does it work? Yeah, that's my job actually. <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding. Ha. <laughs> Uh, so the streaming thing—it's much more much much more complicated. When we started preparing a session or a recording or live stream or whatever, we pay attention to choose proper mic, to set the mics properly, to be able to catch the character of the performer. So. If I am a jazz musician, I need a different mic than when I'm a heavy metal musician. Is that right? Yep, that's right. So、um, you know, you have to、um, pay attention and、uh, listen to the music, listen to the、uh, instrument.、Um, you want to create this feeling that、uh, the listeners in the room, but that room could be anything, right? Because you stream not just from a studio, but also from other places. Yes, of course, and I think that is、um, very. W- wonderful thing that、uh, if we have good location,、uh, we can you know stream from all around the world. Actually, wow, that's amazing. So for、uh, for Chechen Jazz, you're also on the stream team. Can you tell me a little bit about your connection to this、mm. festival? We work with Chechen Jazz for two years now. We had opportunity to work with many great artists and. Also, many great upcoming bands from Polish jazz scene. You know, what, let's go explore the Polish music scene. Let's go see some music. Yep, let's go right now. For my next guest, I'm here at the Jasmine Club, right in the middle, the heart of Chechen City, which is really, really exciting because this this is a new club, and they're hosting artists from all over the world, from Chechen, from Poland, from everywhere. You should definitely check this one out if you're ever in the city. But while that's not yet a possibility, you can still feel like you're here with me on 4th of March when Anders Berkrand is performing here. And for now, I am introducing you to someone who is not just my colleague in jazz,、um, but also my friend Magdalena Fialkowska, and I'm so excited to get to hang out with her again. So let's go, Magdalena. Thank you so much for joining us. This is amazing because each time we meet, we're both far away from home, and there's a lot of good jazz going on. Online, there's been a lot of changes for radio as well, because you're a radio host. Yes, for the past twenty plus years, I've been hosting radio shows in my,、uh, my my I work in a local jazz station in eastern Poland, but then also I cooperate with、uh, the the big station, meaning the the Polish radio, the English section. So there's a lot going on online, and we've been having a revolution recently because、um, up till COVID times. It was kind of frowned upon to call someone and have an interview. You would rather have to go to a festival or a conference and then meet、uh, the artist and then talk to them. Well, now everybody's doing everything online, so it's now it's natural for everyone to meet online. So all of a sudden, you can see everyone in the radio, and <laughs> it's kind of puzzling for me actually, when I'm not used to you know the cameras and the lights. And actually, I loved my work before because nobody could see me. 
now we're all in a spotlight and let's see what comes up. So do you do that a lot? Like every, are you on camera every day or? Well, sometimes it might happen. True. It's, it's still scary though. Uh, but hosting seven shows per week, it, it, it happens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're streaming your radio shows yes. and your interviews as well. So in my radio, for instance, we do concerts every Friday and we used to invite the audience, obviously, but now everything's online. So you can see that on the radio's Facebook. And that is very important for us. I would love to hear more about that, actually. Let's, uh, let's have a seat and let's continue our conversation. Yeah, I feel like we could travel the world, you mm -hmm. know, and um, in, in, in a way, I think that, you know, Shechen Jazz is sort of doing that yes. um, even now because, you know, we're, we're presenting an, an international lineup with Dutch people. We have someone from Spain, from Sweden, um, Polish talents, mm -hmm. of course, as well. And um, with all of these amazing things to choose from, what are you looking forward to most? Well, Jazz Forum Talents, because this is the band I saw, uh, well, band, yes, well, the collective that I, that I saw rising. Uh, it started here, so it has wonderful, already wonderful tradition. And you just can't miss it because uh, it's, it's mind-blowing. Well, it's, it's mind-blowing to, to hear them live when you're w in the same space with them, but I'm, I'm sure that their concert will be wonderful online as well. For now, yep. You know, the first time in a jazz club, the first time at a festival this year, which is all equally exciting. So, you know, let's go. Let's go see some jazz. Guys, thank you so much for joining me again this evening. I hope you learned something. I hope you had a good time hanging out with us again. Um, we talked about audio so far and about streaming, which are two really important parts of an online presence and of a good performance. Tomorrow, please join us as we talk about lights. Join us again tomorrow night at 8 p.m. at Jazz in Europe. And um, let's go check out some more jazz.